Hey everybody, welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I am going to be reviewing this saw, which is a 15 inch metal cutting chop saw made by Evolution. Now what sets this apart from other chop saws you may have seen in the past is that it does not use an abrasive disc, but rather it uses a saw blade with teeth that kind of resembles a wood cutting saw blade. Now the advantage of this is that the saw will cut much faster and it also keeps the parts much, much cooler than an abrasive disc or a bandsaw. Another nice feature of this saw is that it comes with this insert that slides over the vise and it allows you to cut large round pieces of pipe. The vise also has this ratchet system which makes it quick and easy to mount pieces in the saw for cutting. The saw also has a large chip tray where chips are caught in the back of the saw and they also fall down in the groove that the saw blade goes into when it completes a cut. So not only do you get a clean cut on your workpiece, but you also get a clean workbench as well. Miter cuts are easy with this saw because it has a locking pin on the fence that will lock it into the 90 degree or the 45 degree position quite easily. Now you don't have to use this locking pin. You can set the saw to any angle you want between 45 and 90 degrees. Another nice feature of this is that the locking handle will release when it is raised so that you can move it out of the way of your workpiece. And one other thing to note is that the saw uses a single size hex wrench for all adjustments and blade changes and it mounts nicely on the front of the saw. So enough talking about it, let's start cutting some stuff. So this saw cuts quickly and cleanly and the parts are cool to the touch as soon as the saw is done cutting them. Now I know some of you guys are wondering what happened to that band saw you made out of that Harbor Freight Porta Band. Well, I still have that saw. It's not going anywhere. It still works great. It's just that this Evolution saw will make miter cuts and the band saw will not. And you can see on this CNC machine that I am building there's a lot of wobble. You can see how this tape measure is wobbling back and forth. So I'm going to use that evolution saw to cut some 45 degree angle pieces that I can mount right here. Okay, so that first miter cut I tried to make on the saw did not work very well because it did not cut all the way through the piece. But after taking another look at the saw, I think I know why. Okay, so earlier I was wondering why there were multiple pins, multiple angle gauges here that shows the angle of the fence and also multiple pivot points and multiple places to put the tightening handle and after making that first miter cut i believe i now know why they have all of these separate holes here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move the fence forward and then i'm going to try and make that miter cut again and i've got the fence moved all the way forward so i'm going to try and make this miter cut again this time i don't think i will have any problems So I made my 45 degree cuts on this support piece and you can see this is how clean the cuts come off of the saw that has not been cleaned up with an angle grinder. And this support piece fits quite nicely right here. So now all I need to do is cut another one of these for each leg on the table 
and then weld them into place. So it looks like this Evolution chop saw has earned a spot in my workshop. I can certainly use it when I need to make fast, repetitive cuts or I need to make miter cuts. And if you want to check it out or pick one up for yourself, I've got links to it down in the description. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. That lets me know what kind of videos you guys like. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.